All right, good day. Welcome everybody to my channel. So this is going to be self-care tips for the sign of Pisces. I'm doing polar opposites today. Um, so these are things that you can work on now. So that way when the new year um, unfolds and arrives, you've already set this into motion. So that way new energy is being brought into the new year. It's all about growth and changes. So let's see what we have for the Pisceans. And we'll go from there. All right, what do we got here? Self-care tips for the Pisces, please. Self-care tips for Pisces. Self-care tips for Pisces. Families in the reverse. All right, so maybe you need to focus a little bit more on your family. Family could be out of balance. All right, what else do we have for Pisces? Number 23 is going to hold significance here. All right, what else? okay. Make an altar. I feel like Pisces, it's like, I feel like you're trying to like, it's almost like change something. Sweet treats. Maybe you need alone time. Maybe you need to sweeten up things in your life, in your family life here. Building strength is in the reverse too. Families in the reverse. And I normally don't read these cards in the reverse, but I'm being kind of told that I need to. I feel like you've got a lot of conditional love and not unconditional love in your family life here. And that's why it's in the reverse here. Because the love that is, be that is being given is conditional. It's almost saying like, if you do this and this and this and be this person and do as I say, and be my little puppet, I will love you. But if you don't do that, you're not going to get it in return. And this make an altar. You need to dedicate a space for any sacred um, spiritual practices here. And just focusing on gathering like sacred items and setting your intention and reflect and pray that you're going to be connected with spirit in the universe because that's going to help you here. It's like this is a space to go when things are out of balance, when things are kind of chaotic here. You might like to eat some sweet treats. Um, but you need a lot more alone time here. Alone time is key, especially so you can sit and kind of meditate and focus on, you know, the things that need to be shed light on. Okay. Life is sweet to you. When you spend time alone. All right, let's look into this and see why we've got some of these here in the reverse. Because somebody's got conditional love in their family life it's like i said it's if you do this and this and this i will love you but if you don't we're gonna argue we're gonna fight and we're gonna disrupt our family life it's a very um uh, what's i don't want to like put anybody down but it's a very controlling energy all right one more shuffle here I feel you possibly, will, you, the healing work needs to be done. All right, let's get a couple cards from the Tarot for the Pisces regarding these self-care tips. We got the Nine of, I feel like you're just trying to push through, but I feel like you're just feeling wounded. You're feeling beaten by your own family. It is in the upright, but I'm getting just a lot of like, fatigue trying to persevere through this conditional love 
it's like you're hoping that these problems that you may be enduring are going to really fall out of whack completely. I feel like you've gone through a lot of trials, a lot of things here. But your determination and will is helping you overcome these. But you're going to keep enduring this. I feel like you're hanging on to hope and trying to find the courage here to, there could have been a betrayal and now there's like lack of trust here. But like I say, if you forgive and let somebody back into your life, you don't keep bringing the past up. If you're being treated like crap because of a past mistake here. You need to just let it go. Because some people will take you back, but they will beat you. And they will stomp you. And they will make you remember over and over and over again. And you're going to have to do things that you don't really want to do. Because this love here is hard work. It's not easy. It's not easy one bit. You're trying to do self-improvement, but I feel it's not for you. It's not you. You're doing it for your person or your family, and you need to just be you. And if they can't love you for that, well, there's your answer. Nobody should have to hide who they are here. There's some, there's family here that, yeah, it's conditional love. It's not unconditional love. They don't love you for who you are. They love you for what they want you to be and for who they want you to be. This is sad. Now we got the five of swords here. All right. With the make of an altar. Are you trying to find the strength to... I feel like you're losing power. But with the five of swords here showing up in the reverse, with the make an altar... There's a lot of lingering resentment. And that's why your family is out of balance. Because somebody is clinging on to um, lingering resentment. It's like they want to reconcile. They want to forgive. But they keep bringing it up. They keep beating you. They keep, they keep you from fully healing and being who you are. Stepping into your passionate self. We got coming clean. Yeah, that's where you're fulfilled. I feel like you just need to find that sacred space and come clean to the universe, the spirit guides, whatever it is that you want to speak of and release and let go of and forgive and reconcile. You're going to get your wishes fulfilled. Just create a sacred space. All right, it doesn't have to be all fancy or anything. Just a space for you where you can go to reach out to the universe, your spirit guides, your ancestors. But it's like somebody keeps wanting revenge. And I feel like you're just to the point where you're ready to cut your losses because you've tried to compromise. You've tried to reconcile, but nothing comes your way. So you're going to come clean and you're going to Ask for emotional fulfillment here. Confess to your spirit guides the universe. Confess the truth. Let the truth be revealed. And you're going to be fulfilled. All right? All right, let's get a couple cards here, and then we're going to wrap this up. Because I feel like that's all we really need, because this is like a very stern... Now we got the King of Wands in the reverse. It's like you're having a difficult time with this family life, holding it together. It's like you guys just cannot overcome. It's turning you into a very moody person here, and you're very disappointed. Somebody has unconditional like, love, and it's like 
you want to see the bigger picture, but the other person isn't seeing the bigger picture or your family isn't seeing the big picture here. And it's becoming overbearing. Your person has unachievable expectations here. All right. And it's becoming overbearing. It's leaving you moody. It's leaving you unhappy. All right. So let's get this wrapped up here. Alone time. Yeah, we've got the three of pentacles here in the reverse with the eight of cups. You need to just walk away from this commitment fast. All right, because you're going to grow the minute you walk away and you leave this behind because you're never going to be able to be who you want to be because this is conditional love. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.